What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul, and welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Red Dead Redemption. Number 10. In Grand Theft Auto V, an easter egg book can be found on the bookshelf of one of the protagonist's houses, entitled Red Dead, and written by J. Marsden. It is unknown if the Red Dead and Grand Theft Auto series are in the same universe, however, it is possible that Jap Marston, the son of John Marston, may have in fact written this book after the events of Red Dead Redemption, and it became a timeless classic. Jack had told his father that he always wanted to become a writer. Number 9. The achievement or trophy, fighting around the world, which is earned by knocking out a person in each saloon in the game, is a reference to the South Park episode, the new Terrence and Phillip movie trailer, which includes a television show called Fighting Around the World with Russell Crowe. Number 8. The word zombie is rarely heard in the Undead Nightmare DLC. No major characters in that storyline utter it. The term does not appear on any items or menu description in the single player mode. However, in multiplayer, the group of undead skins are called zombies. Also, if you are in Fort Mercer and greet a woman, John will say, Stay away from them zombies, ma'am. In addition, certain minor characters like D.S. McKenna and Adrian Lachance also use the term from time to time. In a world event, a man rides up to you on his horse and says, Damn zombies got my brother, you gotta save him. Number 7. The Undead Hunter outfit found in the Undead Nightmare DLC strongly resembles the one worn by the character Ash in the movie Army of Darkness. This is a very likely reference to the film, as the name of the outfit changes to Army of the Undead once the player is able to finish the game's story. Number 6. Edgar Ross shares many traits with Frank Tenpenny, the main antagonist of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Both Ross and Tenpenny blackmail the protagonist into working for them, both of them abuse their power for various reasons, and are noted hypocrites. The difference between the two is that while Ross had somewhat decent motives, Tenpenny did nothing to help the disadvantaged, and instead chose to amplify the hardships that plagued the poorer parts of Los Santos, frequently abused drugs, and worked with several gangs and drug cartels. Number 5. The oil drilling project in New Austin named Plainview is a likely reference to the character Daniel Plainview, played by Daniel Day-Lewis in the 2007 film There Will Be Blood. The character is, appropriately, a ruthless oil baron and tycoon operating in the southwestern United States in the opening decades of the 20th century. The foreman's building in Red Dead Redemption matches the one used in the film, and the man often found working at the desk bears a striking similarity to Plainview himself. Number 4. A very early duster coat outfit can be seen in the 2005 trailer for the game. It appears lighter in color and has a cut in the back, similar to the final outfit. Number 3. John Marston and his wife Abigail Marston share their names with the second president of the United States and his wife John Adams and Abigail Adams. Both families also had a son named Jack. Jack is sometimes used as another name for John and both characters had a daughter die very early in their life. Number 2. The final story mission, The Last Enemy That Shall Be Destroyed, is a reference to the 15th chapter of the first epistle of Paul to the Corinthians. Verse 16 in chapter 15 reads, The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Number 1. There is a theory that the main character, John Marston, has a weakened or blind left eye. Evidence supporting this theory is that Marston's deadly assassin outfit includes an eye patch that goes over his left eye. During a cutscene, Marston seems to turn his head over to the left slightly to possibly see more with his right eye. Sometimes, when using dead eye, Marston will comment, I think like I got my eye back. After Dutch shoots the woman during Great Men are not always wise, John does not take the opportunity to shoot Dutch as he runs through the doorway on John's left side. The other lawmen make a comment towards John about not shooting him too. There's also another interesting bit hinting towards this, which is a comparison between John Marston and Johnny Klebitz from Grand Theft Auto 4. Both share similar names, John and Johnny. Both were in gangs that left them for dead, came up from rough and criminal backgrounds, both have antagonists named Bill or Billy, both have girlfriends or wives that are considered every man's, both are forced to work for the government to save themselves and those they care about, and it is implied that Johnny has a weakened or blind eye. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 10 video about Red Dead Redemption. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.